two weeks ago, I noticed that Charity had a lot of dander buildup under her fur. I thought at first it was just, you know, because Angoras have long fur, their dander doesn't have a chance to, you know, escape like other people, like humans do. I mean, like when you have skin, it just like falls off. But then they have so much fluff that's hard to fall off. But when I was plucking Lucky, he didn't have nearly as much dander caught as she did. So I had a suspicion that she had fur mites. When a rabbit has fur mites, one of the things you'll notice with them is that they have a lot of like flaky, cakey, dandery skin. So just to be safe, I have been treating her for fur mites. And today I'm gonna to share with you what I have done. So on our homestead, we like to do things as natural as possible. And so I haven't been using any chemicals or anything to treat anything with. Um, and also I have had to treat all the babies um, because they are with her and they could have gotten it too. So I have, today I will be finishing treating Charity and all of her babies and I will talk you through what I'm doing today and what I did last time as well. So 10 days ago exactly, I took Charity and I put some DE. I had like a mask on like a protective like you know a mask that you wear when you go painting stuff and I took DE which is diatomaceous earth um, it's food grade and I sort of covered her nose because if you breathe it in um, if you breathe in DE it could cause your lungs to you know get scarred and stuff so I tried my best to cover her nose and mouth and I put DE all over her neck area and her ears and her back and I did that to all of the babies, and then I sprayed neem oil all over their cage. And neem oil is supposed to be a good thing to kill mites as well. So, but you can't spray neem oil on them, because that's not very good for them. So, that is what I'm going, I did 10 days ago, and then that's to kill all of the mites that are adults. But then all the eggs don't get affected by the DE, is what I've heard. So, you have to do it 10 days later to kill all the eggs whenever they start hatching. So, um, and I have done this in the past for rabbits who had mites and it was, it worked well and it's very good. So, we're gonna do it and I'm gonna close this door before they start jumping out and I will show you what I'm gonna do, go back. I also wanted to mention that to prevent any of my other rabbits from getting mites, I have always done the angora, these angoras last. When I'm doing chores, I feed and water and do the hay and pet everyone else first and then I come and do them last so that I don't accidentally you know spread the mites on my hands. So I've put Charity in this cat carrier so that I can um, clean their cage and spray it with neem oil. I don't want to get that in anyone's eyes on accident. So she is in this carrier and then I'm gonna put the babies put the babies on this cage that's above this other one and I'm just gonna clean this as well when they're done with it. So now, the cage that I'm going to clean is empty, so I can clean it, so. Okay, so, I'm wearing my mask now, and I have the DE all ready to go. So I'm gonna take the baby bunnies one at a time, and dust them, and then put them back in their cage. So she's going to get the same thing like the babies, just going to tuck her nose and mouth and put it way all over everything as much as I can, especially in all this wool. Here, come here. Come here, baby. It's okay. And then just putting it on here is supposed to continue to help like her back and all that, or and, like her belly and all that will be good. So. 
which is thoroughly dusted. And I'll put her back in the cage as well. I'm gonna spray down the grooming stand and this carrier and anything else that has touched the rabbits with mites with neem oil to kill all of them. So I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to spray down the cage that the BB Angoras were in temporarily just to make sure there it's clean as well. And there we have it. All you have to do to get rid of mites is um, put diatomaceous earth on all of the rabbits and spray their cages with DE once and then do it again in 10 days and you hopefully, most likely, will mates will disappear. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it and maybe you'll try treating your rabbits this natural way instead of using chemicals next time you, they have mites. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!